All right, let's stay with this and speak to Makosonke Mutelezi, who's the spokesperson of the Department of Mineral Resources and Energy. Let me thank you so much for your time this afternoon. What is your reaction first to this particular incident? Quite a tragic one. Uh, we are sadly, uh, we are very uh, saddened by this incident as the department, uh, especially if you look at uh, how well the industry has been doing uh, in the past two years in terms of uh, preventing uh, occurrences where people uh, die and uh, 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 got injured as, as a result of, of mining operations. So we are really certain there's the department. And how much of a setback would you say this is, particularly when you look at the ambitions, um, you know, of the sector towards zero fatalities? It is uh, quite a setback because in uh, 2021, uh, we recorded no fatalities in the sector. And last year, there were 42 fatalities. And this year, the year is not even over. We are sitting at 52 already with 11 miners that have passed away. And it is of huge concern to the department that we are uh, seem to be gradually regressing in ensuring uh, safety of mine workers uh, in the industry. So uh, the, the mine saying, of course, it's taking, um, you know, responsibility and also making sure that uh, the, the families are also receiving the support and all of that. What is the latest in that particular regard? Have all the families been reached? What are you hearing? Well, we haven't had anything uh, in terms of what has the man has done and what he has promised to do. We haven't had anything uh, as the department. So let's talk then about what AMCU is saying. It says that it wants, and I'm quoting, a negligent mine bosses to be charged with a culpable homicide in cases of workers dying while on site and saying that the mine doesn't prioritize worker safety and the, there must be serious consequences. Look, there's going to be an investigation uh, by the department uh, because uh, according to the Mine and Health and Safety Act, we are obliged to conduct an investigation if there has been an incident like this. And depending on the investigation, on the outcomes or the recommendations of the investigation, and in full on inquiry may follow. And uh, if really the main process are found to uh, be guilty uh, in terms of uh, the inquiry, then uh, they could, that could result in a fine or where still it could result in a, a criminal offense leveled against those who are responsible. So I guess we have to wait for these processes to take place as outlined uh, in the Mine Health and Safety Act. Should it be found that there was, there, there was a criminal offense here? Are we looking at jail time possibly? Yes, definitely. Uh, uh, the sanction would be jail time, imprisonment. So there's something else that AMCO has been talking about over time now because in some of the incidents it's, it's a call that they've reiterated and, and, and even now it has resuscitated again. It is the fact that the Mine Health and Safety Act needs to be amended for company bosses to be held accountable and also to be charged with a culpable homicide. Is this something that the department would back? Look, we, the Mine Health and Safety Act uh, is under review as we speak. And there are various aspects that we are looking at uh, because we felt now it is time that it is in line with the prevailing conditions in the industry. So um, the bill will be out uh, for public comments and uh, all the stakeholders, including AMP, uh, is welcome to make comments and make inputs once the bill is out for public comments. Is this part, though, part of the amendments at all? Are you able to tell us? Uh, please come again. Is the part where they are calling for, you know, harsher punishment and accountability towards mining bosses and possibly for them to be charged with culpable homicide, does it also form part of the amendments? Are you able to tell us? Not at this stage, because remember, uh, it still has to go out to them, uh, to all the stakeholders. Then they can make that input. 
uh, in as far as that is concerned. So what becomes the department's role now going forward towards ensuring that some of the things that we're hearing the mind talk about, for example, the, you know, the, the fact that there's workers in hospital, they need to be provided for, their families must be provided for, some of the workers who possibly would have been traumatized by all of this need to also get psychosocial support. So there's a lot that needs to unfold apart from the investigation itself. What becomes then the role of the department in this process that's to unfold? Yeah, look, our, our, our role obviously primarily is to investigate and uh, over and above that we will monitor what the man has committed uh, to do in as far as these other things are concerned. Uh, we will monitor that as part of uh, the department's role in this whole saga. All right. Let me thank you so much for your time this afternoon. And let's continue then to see what happens and what the developments become in this particular story. That is Makosonke Butelezi, spokesperson of the Department of Mineral Resources and Energy. On the other side of this uh, here on the show, we're speaking to Amku, as well as the Junior Mining Council founding president, talking about this very issue. And we'll also chat to an analyst who has been watching this industry over time. And look at our fatality record in comparison to some of what we've seen globally.